Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna give you every piece of information that you need to figure out what the best new eyeshadow palette for you would be. I have some hits, some home runs, some colorful neutral. These are mainly off the Sephora website, but of course some of these brands you would find at Nordstrom, Ulta. Uh, this is higher end. I will be doing a bunch of drugstore stuff in the future, so hold tight for that. I also have some duds because there have been some recent launches that have just completely missed the mark in my opinion. I'm gonna share swatches, run through things for you guys, and we're just gonna try to figure out how to talk again. I'm having the kind of day where I just cannot get a sentence out. I do not know what's wrong with me. I do not know, help. Let's just dive right on in to everything. I wanna share with you guys what's on my lips right now because I am so blown away. So this is a collaboration with Christian Audette and Lisa Lisa D1. I talked about this in my unboxing, I'll link that below. But these two lipsticks right here in this lip liner are so good. I also topped off the lip with a little bit of kind of a really high shine glimmer gloss from Smashbox in the shade Practical Magic. Ooh, who remembers that movie? I love that. So this is what's on my lips. I'll list everything else that I am wearing in the description box below. Also wearing Tom Ford on my lashes. What on the earth? I have not been reaching for my falsies and that like never happens. Okay, so let's dive right in. I'm gonna share with you guys something that really kind of surprised me because, and I don't say this to be rude, <sighs> It's gonna sound rude. Zoeva is not a brand that I have ever gotten like so super excited about. I love some of their brushes. Some of their palettes have been good. You know, I liked some of their brow items, but I've never been like doing backflips or been like, oh wow, Zoeva, like let's talk about it. This collection though came in my PR and I was just so mesmerized by just the color choices, the whole vibe of it. It's like purple with nude. I love this so much much. It blends out so beautifully. I'm wearing this shade right here, which is called Crystal Wings. It's just like the prettiest. That is kind of on the outer a little bit. I also have this shade About to Leave on the way, way outer edge. Like look how rich that is. It is so intense and so gorgeous. I'm wearing the shade Cocoon of Doubt right on the center of the lid. Oh yeah, I put Soul Unheld just a tiny bit on top of a bunch of other things on the lower lash line, but look at how pretty this is. This video, we're gonna get back into uh, shoulder swatches just so you guys can see just like a one finger swatch of some of these shadows This formula is very pigmented, but it has a ton of kickback It's a little bit dusty if you can work past that and that doesn't bother you Which if I whack my brush and do a good job of making sure that I'm not dipping in too heavy I don't have an issue with it But I will say that a few of you will notice if you're getting this off of my recommendation You're gonna be like what the heck because this is like a very dusty formula, it just, it is. The color tones, the blend, the wear time, everything else, the price, I love so much. This shade up top, which is called Gentle Clasp, and then Airy Dalliance, oh my God. I mean, like, I love these kind of tones. Look at that. Are you kidding me? It's like the perfect, like, sexy bronze with like a little hit of springtime, like a little hit of freshness. I really, really love this moving right along. I tried to make this work and actually, I was trying to make this like be a dupe situation because when I opened up this palette from Bobbi Brown, this is the Molten Drama, I was like, oh hey, like a lot of these kind of duochromatic shades feel very similar. They're not, they're just not as va va voom in my opinion. Like they just don't do as much as I want them to do. They're not as vibrant. It's a lot more money. You know what I'm confused by even more though? The fact that the reviews are so good. So it made me really doubt myself and made me question if I should even talk about this because a lot of people are raving about it. They love it. I think that you can do better. I think that you can do better for less money. What I want is either something punchy and fun that I can add in with my more neutral tones or I want there to be a story where I can do a full look, meaning I could do a liner out of one of the darker shades, I can do a transition shade, I can do a full thing. With this, I just feel like I can't. It's a little bit bulky and it's expensive. So this is a pass. I love you, Bobbi Brown. I just, this particular one, I did not like at all. Moving on to one that is so good and I am shocked that more people are not getting 
getting really, really excited about this palette because it is so beautiful. It is so good. I'm gonna insert like a little bit of me getting ready with this palette. I've worn it a lot. I wore this in my concealers video where I'm talking about the best and worst concealers and I will link that video below for you guys. That was a good makeup day. And it was actually the khaki section of this palette that I'm wearing and I loved my makeup. I was like, wow, it kind of goes with taupe. It's like this army green that could kind of really go in a bunch of different directions as far as like what you're wearing and having it feel comfortable for daytime. Like it's not very loud and punchy, but it's still something a little bit aside from your typical kind of rust, brown, neutral. Like it just to me feels a little bit more fun, but not obnoxious. I am here to say that I am finally like very comfortable and okay with just being who I I am and like this kind of makeup is so just where I shine I feel and where I feel comfortable like this kind of a thing to me is more approachable easy faster I'm into like the effortless thing right now what do you guys think like that's where I feel trends are moving and I love that I I'm in it so you're probably gonna see me doing my makeup a little bit more pulled back and I'm always a little bit afraid when I do that because so many people clock me for you know you're boring you don't you don't know how to use makeup you're a bad makeup artist and I get in my head and I'm like oh my god I really need to like show off my flair and my skills it's like a whole thing but long story short, when you find products that enhance you and just make you feel more beautiful, more powerful, and it feels effortless and not stressful, like that's the win. When I look at this palette right here, I really, really feel that. I think that these colors are so universally flattering. They're warm without being aggressive. This one is just stunning through and through. It's called the Let's Gold. <laughs> I always want to say let's go. Let's go, make it forever. Let's go. Surprise hit that I didn't think I liked. I got one in PR and I gave it away because I was just like, huh, I have so much makeup. Here you go. And then I started seeing a bunch of people use it online and I kept seeing it on Sephora. Like it just kept like jumping out at me. Like I would scroll, 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 and then it'd be like, bam. And I'm like, gosh. Dang it. So I went and bought it. So I got it in PR, gave it away, and then decided that I needed it myself. This is the Born to Run from Urban Decay. This is a gorgeous palette. Just ooh and awe for a moment because it maintains a neutral feel and vibe, but you have all of these very interesting colors. You have a few nice brights. You can do so much with it. This top row right here will kind of get you going on any neutral day that you need just kind of a neutral quick look. And then you have these beautiful metallics. I really, really love this one right in the corner called Big Sky. I also like Smog and ignite. Oh wait, I also like double life so much. So let's do like a little swatcheroo of these ones. So this shade right here, I just, I think it's such a special, unique shade. I don't have another one like this. And then this one right here is really, really pretty there. Ignite me. Look at how smooth those are. They're so good. And then we have double life. That was really bad, sorry guys. So these are two matte shades, just so you can get like a feel for just how beautiful they are. Yes, hello. Oh my God, right? Like, are those not uh, so nice? I will say this, their new Naked palette, I like, I'm not reaching for all the time. There's something about it that does not make as much sense to me as this one right here. So if I were placed, you know, like both of them in front of me, I would pick the Born to Run palette just for the versatility, for the neutral, and for the edgy, beautiful, brighter shades that are not so crazy that you feel like, wow, I'll never wear that. Like something like this, you can very easily do a neutral look like this and then pop right in that inner corner. In fact, why don't I do that right now? It's playtime, let's talk to you. Bam. I'm gonna take a little bit of big sky and look, I went from like, daytime to like, she's fun. <laughs> That's what just happened. <laughs> oh my God, she's kind of edgy and mysterious because of her blue pop in the inner corner. But it's just like, it's fun sometimes to have just a little bit. Like sometimes we get in this like obligation mode with our makeup where if you bought it, you feel like I have to use it. I have to, I have to wear this. I'm wasting all these beautiful colors. But the end result is more so just like how you look and feel than swiping metallic green everywhere and not really being into how you look. All right, so this is a killer 
Killer palette. A plus, 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 plus. Love it. Let's talk some crap, dude. We need to like get in there. I was gonna do like a full video on this. You know, it's not even that it's like super terrible. It's kind of bad. This is the Roger Rabbit collaboration with Ciate. Now I'm gonna do this for you guys and you're gonna see that it's not bad, right? Like it's not bad, but are you like, is it revving your engine? Like, is this making you go, mm, I need it? Probably not, right? I don't know. I'm not turned on. I go over to this arm and I'm like, mm, you were fun for a first date. That's about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird that there's different texture, color, tone that will like really make your eyes go, yes, 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 yes. And there's other tone that just kind of looks like, meh. They're a little dusty and creamy at the same time, which is bizarre. I just don't think that the color layout makes a ton of sense. I know they were going like hard with the theme of, you know, Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit and all of that. But like, these are just, they just don't do it, dude. That's all I can say. They just don't do it. <laughs> I have another palette that I loved. Like I loved when I was swatching this, I was like, yes give it to me. And then I wore it and I was like, no, give me makeup remover, please. It just creased so quickly. I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing. I've tried this twice. It did the same thing twice. Maybe I was just sweaty that day. I don't know, but I just can't like this to save my life. I can't like it. And it's a shame because I really like the color setup here. This is the eyeshadow times nine Kabuki doll. And it's pretty like you guys, if you feel this in the store and you like swatch it, you'll be like, what? Like, these are so nice. Like, I really, really love that. Cause you see how like, it's a very unique kind of metallic. I think there's too much oil in it though. And if you use any of the metallics on top of the mattes, which to me, the whole idea of something cute and small like this is to travel with it, to not fuss around with doing your makeup much. This is like car makeup. I can do it, you know, in a snap as the passenger, but it will crease so quickly. So that's why it's a pass. Another one that I shockingly don't like is this Viseart palette. I really thought that I would love this. I tried doing my sister's makeup with this. And honestly, I felt like I was like the worst makeup artist on planet earth because I was like, oh, let me use my most expensive, like really beautiful eyeshadow on you. You're gonna love it. And I put it on her and it just looked like muddy and gray and kind of like cement cool tone. It just was not good. And then I was using it on myself and I'm like, shoot, like I just can't get this to work out for me. There are a few shades in here that are stunning and they are the three metallic shades right here. Those three are incredible, but everything that surrounds it is just like dusty, ew. Oh my God, no. It looks patchy, dusty, cementy, gray, bruisey. I just don't like it. I love their original matte palette that has been in hit list after hit list after hit list for me. And I love that one, highly recommend it. This one, just the tones were like, not for me. NARS has these little baby palettes that I think are so good, you guys. They're so good. I traveled to Whistler with these and me and my sister Larissa, we wore them the whole trip. I did her makeup a few times using them and I just wanted to see if I could travel with these and just how much I could get out of the product. And you can do complete looks, which is unusual because like this one right here is full metallic, but then they have two others where you'll get three shades that are matte and three that have, you know, more texture and life to them. But these are just like freaking insane. They are so good. Right? Hello. And they have kind of like a topper that's more like just glimmer, like it's more transparent. It just, it does things to my heart when I see this kind of metallic. I love it. Well, that one got kind of messed up, but you guys can understand. Look how nice that is, right? You save so much space with something like this. It is $32, it's up there in price, but you get a fair amount of product, you get a nice mirror, and I love the three choices that they have. They are all beautiful. One is more warm, one is more cool, and then this one is just like, bam, metallic, beautiful. Another honorable mention, really quickly, because I just did videos on these, would be the Riviera palette. I'm actually still reaching for quite a bit. I have to say, that 
that this is probably like the best hot pink and the best teal ever. Like whenever I am like sitting down and comparing things in my collection, cause I'm always doing that. Like on the weekend, I'm always swatching, I'm getting rid of things. I'm seeing what I wanna keep. Those two colors are so special and so vibrant. Also the shade Yacht is really nice too. I really like this palette the more that I use it. You know, if you have other palettes like this, you probably don't need this. And I think that was my big thing that I wanted to share, but everything said and done, this is a really special, really nice palette. The quality is there. Another quick honorable mention to the Blue Blood palette. Rost yourself. I just look at it, I open it, and I'm like, I want to play with you. That's just what comes to my head. Scout's Honor, right? Scout's Honor. Ugh, <laughs> oh, those colors. Ooh, I need to do some more push-ups. And like, I would never think that I would like a palette like this that's like just blue, but it's good. This is like a collector's item too. I mean, it's a beefcake of a palette. It's like, it's, what, what are we saying? She's thick. Yep. My friends, that was a ton of eyeshadow for us to go through together. These are all new launches, fresh makeup, and I have been trying, swatching, playing, testing it all out for you. And this is like the hit list of what you'll see me really loving on in the next couple of months. Let me know in the comments, what are you guys into? I'd be curious to know, cause we all love makeup so much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go roll around on my white couch and just see what happens. That would be a terrible, like James will kill me if I go near anything right now. I'm a makeup tiger, rawr. If you guys want more of this kind of content, please let me know, leave those comments, thumbs up the video, share the video, you know, let me hear from you what you want more of because the goal is to make content that you guys enjoy and that is helpful. So please, pester me on all of my socials. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and here. All right, cool. I love you guys so, so much. Go have a good one. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do that before you leave and ring the bell. I am here at Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and when you ring the bell, an angel gets wings and you get some good luck. Wait, can I turn it into like one of those chain letters? If you don't ring the bell, you're gonna have bad makeup for like five years. How many of you guys like, if when you get those chain letters, like for the longest time I was like, oh my God, if I don't forward this to five people, everyone in my family's gonna die. And then I'd be like, what if that really happened? Oh my God, like I'm kind of superstitious. Are you guys superstitious? Hey, if you are, ring the bell. I'm trying to make that work and really sell it. I don't think it's working. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope that you're having a good one. I am here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. PST. Come back for more info on makeup, luxury, drugstore, try-ons, weird stuff, all of it. I'm here and I love it when you come spend time with me. All right, go have a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.